station somewhere. They're not here, are they? But yeah, you, I, I don't know. I think it'd be too confusing, a little bit scary to have somebody talking to me from uh, the Alexa, right? Humid conditions out there for her right now with upper 80s to near 90. But look at this. We're not in the mid and upper 90s. This is a big improvement, so we don't have a major heat wave. These are seasonable temperatures. We do have a milder day, at least forecast for now on Tuesday, and it's all dependent on whether or not our front moves through and clears the area. If it stalls, as we're anticipating, it could bring us some upper 70s to near 80, and then we stay in those mid 80s through the end of next week, it looks like. So that is a nice break for us. Now you're looking at the cold front moving in from the west. The scattered showers and the thunderstorms are blowing up where we have some help aloft. We just don't have a lot going on across the tried, although you've seen some good heavy uh, clouds, those dark clouds that looked like they were going to drop at any moment. They just couldn't get going. We do have a couple spots trying to get going with maybe a sprinkle or two, and that's what we've seen in Winston-Salem so far, only about a hundredth of an inch when it comes to the rainfall. The real thunderstorm activity is happening over Rock Hill, driving out of Charlotte right now on I-40 and 485. Pretty intense there, or I should say 77 and 85. You're looking at the rainfall totals, one hundredth of an inch in Winston-Salem, not so much in Salisbury, and this is how it's going to go as we have these pop-up storms. Where you do have the storms, look at those precipitation rates, more than two, almost two and a half inches going for folks in northern South Carolina. We're going to wait on those storms to develop and fill in for Monday. It looks better then. We're at 86 degrees in Rhonda, 87 in North Wilkes, we're at 85 in Pilot Mountain. Few clouds out there, and clouds this morning also help to keep those temperatures down some. We now have a cold front swinging in from the west with 89 degrees in High Point, 95 though in Bermuda Run. That's the hottest we've seen, so maybe a little anomaly there for folks, but we are watching that cold front swing in, and as it does so through tomorrow, it should keep temperatures down in the mid 80s to upper 80s very um, at the most. <laughs> we're looking at temperatures overnight, as you can see, dropping into the 70s with a storm chance up until 9, 10 o'clock tonight. Early tomorrow morning, I think it's going to be hard to get much in the way of showers going, but we could have some of those heavy clouds like what we had early today. Nice to have that. And then you'll have some sunshine through middle of the afternoon. And as we have heat of the day, as some of our forecast models wanting to bring us into the 90s, I think it, we may struggle to get there. We do have those shower chances back to the west and a rain chance of only 20% for most folks tomorrow. If we see anything at all, it'll be in the form of cloud cover for a lot of folks and not a lot of rain. Fog out there early tomorrow morning, so we hang on to the humidity. We don't see huge changes in the humidity either, so near normal what we'd expect this time of the year. A little bit muggy with dew points in the low 60s. You're warm with winds out of the southeast at about 5 miles an hour. In the mountains, you're at 77 tomorrow. We're taking temperatures to... 85 in Mount Airy, Wilkesboro, and Yakinville. You can see the Piedmont temperatures also from 66 to near 86. Winds out of the east southeast at about 5 to 10 and a slight chance of a pop up storm. Tropical development is not looking good for us out to the east, though, off the coast of Africa. A slight chance in the next five days we may see something develop. At the beaches, though, we've got winds out of the east at about 6 miles an hour. Feels like temperatures at 82 there as they've got dew points down in the lower 70s and humidity is high but they've had showers nearby almost through the afternoon hours over the last couple of hours. Also at Atlantic Beach, you can see a few of those streams of showers and storms, but not rainy per se, just some afternoon activity. And definitely warmer in the Gulf Stream. We're at 83 there, but your beach water temperatures, you're heading out that way. Yeah, still cool at Atlantic Beach, 79 degrees and then lower 80s as you head farther south. The seven day forecast shows you a pretty dry weekend. Rain chances at 20% for Saturday, increased to 30% late Sunday. Better rain chances for everybody Monday. It's an impact day, but notice temps a little bit better next week.